This is the age of the church. God loves the church. God established the church. Jesus went to the cross to purchase the church. The Holy Spirit gifts and equips and baptizes the church. God uses the church. The church is the means by which Jesus intends to accomplish his mission to rescue a people for his own possession, for God's glory, and for their eternal and infinite good for all of eternity. By the way, a church is not to be defined or measured by its numbers, by its building, by its programs, by its history, or by its traditions, or even by the quality of its band. A church is to be measured by its fidelity to the New Testament and its adherence to the direction of its head, the Lord Jesus Christ. All of these things demand a called out and assembled body of believers, not scattered Christians all over the globe doing as they see fit. That means that an obedient disciple will find himself organically connected to a local assembly of called out disciples. Not normal, dude, it's clear. You assume I'm weird. We give the gospel to cats, rocking Sunni beards. We're some rugged dudes, not very eloquent. I love man to man, that's a men's fellowship. I get encouraged and challenged by Eric Mason. He preaches the gospel, good news is very blatant. A relevant preacher who's zealous for Jesus. Got a thick community of fellow believers. Worship team killing it, I cross their in emotions. Lyrics point me to the cross, word and devotion. In the Bible scripts, plus Christ's righteousness. In light of this, we stress discipleship. At Epiphany, you'll see instantly we love the Trinity in each ministry. Still a young church going through growing pains. But we're showing change the more we know his name. The church is Christ's personal, precious, and purchased possession. He loves her. It's citizens are holy and righteous and, and true. And at the end of the day, we need to say what God says about the church. And that is, he calls the church his. He loves her. She is precious. And therefore, in our eyes, the church needs to be precious as well. It belongs to God. And we need to remember that. I spent a lot of years in the church where fellowship was not revered. It was clear. Most of what appeared was really half sincere. But to persevere is key to saint survival. That's why I never take for granted what I have in Grace Bible. Getting that X242 on. Expository and exegetical messages we can chew on. Functioning like the bride is commanded. From leadership to discipline. See what's written there? That's how we handle it. Christocentrism is reproduced now. And the older men and women live. Living tight is too stale. Don't even let me start an equipping from Bill to H3 in the institute. It's abundantly given. The most biblical picture of leadership I've ever seen. I ain't exalting them, but 1 Timothy 5.17. I submit to this body as it submits to the head. A fact that follows the voice of the good shepherd who plays the body. The church is the primary vehicle of God in the world. It is the place where the kingdom of God is proclaimed, where the gospel is going forth. And therefore, the church must always be on its post, ready to proclaim the gospel and the message of the kingdom. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. This is the calling of the church, proclaiming the kingdom of Christ. If you ever in Atlanta, you can find me on the west side. Off in East Point with my church family. See, I see. had a crazy attraction. A certain group of people, they were more about the worship, not so much about the steeple. Honestly, Atlanta is a desert of dead churches, so to find true worship, just visit, bruh, it's worth it. A really young church, been together about a year or so, planted in a rugged area, many seeds to sow. Fill up the pastor, call to Reggie, BJ, and Anthony. Allen and the Sarge Fellowship got me on hands and knees. Antoine, Avery, Daryl, Jeremy, and Lee. When I'm around these brothers, worldly cares are very far from me. Scott and John Whitlock and Mitchell. Oh yeah, Kenny. See, dog, I ain't forget you. Get your prayer for you, bro. You see, I'm loving this community. Authentic relationship built on Christ. That's true unity. The church is the vessel into which God has deposited the most precious treasure in all the universe, namely the gospel of Jesus Christ. And therefore, it must take care to value and to care for this most valuable possession. Whatever else she is doing, feeding the hungry and clothing the naked, it is never more important than is the proclaiming of the gospel, of guarding and protecting and loving the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the treasure that God has deposited into her.